Hi guys, it's Monty. Welcome back. So today is going to be um, some more project shares for um, Scrap David Designs. And I have, I think, three different items to share with you today. So let me share with you first up. Um, I'm featuring this die here again, which is the flower circles. Okay. So with this one, I made a card. And so I use my circles more as uh, I kind of overlapped them and I made, I want, you know, made them hang off the edge, you know, little pieces here and there. I made them more for like a background and you don't want your stuff to kind of be, you know, uniform, like two things side by side. You kind of want it to be more random looking and like I say, going off the sides of the paper and stuff. So anyway, I placed them on there, just glued them down flat. There's no, um, you know, three dimension or anything like that because you know, cards, you want to keep them fairly um, flat if you're planning on mailing them, which I don't know if I am going to mail this one or not, but just in case, because I still got some dimension here with my my greeting and my bow and everything. So anyway, it comes with two different sizes. There's a large and a small. I use the small, and it also comes with the little layering, extra layering pieces of flowers. So I cut out a few of these and then just cut pieces and put them on the edges and stuff. And, um, and then I, I glued some of the flowers. I cut them out again out of different color pattern paper and glued them on top. And sorry if you hear all that racket, that's my bird. He's, <laughs> he's going a little crazy. It seems like his name's Skittles. And whenever I go out of the room, he seems like he, um, you know, like does more chattering and stuff like calling to me or something. <laughs> So anyway, I put a little bow, um, fabric bow, and then here is um, my sentiment says Easter greetings. And for that, I use the stamp set that comes as part of the Easter ribbon slider. So I used um, the words Easter and greetings. I put them together and then stamped them just in black on um, one of the little pieces. And I used a little square piece that cuts out of the center of this one. That's what I used to stamp my greeting on. Okay. And then I open it up and I layered the inside with some pattern paper also. And then cut an oval from the um, Scrap Divas. Um, it's some part of the basics um, oval set. And then I used the word Hello Spring. Put those together and just stamp that there for my greeting. And then my thing on the back. So I have a cute little card, a little card for Easter. Okay. And then next I decided to make another one of these. I made this at the very beginning. One of, I made a different one of these at the very beginning when I first got the design team package. Um, and I made it with ears and everything, you know, like a bunny, because it comes with, um, it comes with the ears and stuff to make a bunny. It's called Bunny Doily Memory Decks. And so it comes with, I'll show you real quick. So you can make it a memory decks or not. So here's your base piece to make it memory decks. And then here's a layering piece for that. And then you have another piece like this you can layer up if you want to. Um, and then this one here is cut on both these edges. So that's gonna be, um, let you uh, make it a shaker if you'd like, okay. And so you can definitely just do this without using the Memdex part and just make, you know, circle doily thing. It comes with all of the little pieces to uh, make bunny feet. And then you got the layering pieces for the feet. And then you got the bunny ears and the layering pieces for the bunny ears, and you get the word and the shadow for Happy Easter. Okay, that's what all comes in the set. So I did make it a memory decks again, but I didn't make it um, bunny shaped. So I decided just to kind of make it spring. Um, so I used part of this one. I used some pieces from the Easter bunny set. From Scrap Diva, so it's the one that has the big bunny and the carrots and stuff. It also has like um, 
feet you can layer that kind of stuff and layering pieces for the for the ears and then um, it also comes with this grass piece right here so that's what I use for my grass down here and I layered it up like three different times I kind of inked the edges so they'd stand out apart from one another and I only glued them like on the bottom half bottom piece that I attached so that I could stick stuff down in the grass and then once I got them all layered on there, then I took my circle die. Um, this one that just does the plain circle. And I laid it over my die again and cut it off. And that gave me all the stitching around on the, um, you know, on the grass and everything too. And trimmed off all the, you know, the, you know, the long edges of that. Um, I put some little uh, white, like cord type stuff around there to kind of trim it made a bunch more little flowers and kind of just added those all over there's the carrots it is part of the easter bunny set also so i got a couple of those here this bunny here is from a, a just a die that was in my stash but it was a tiny little one and so it worked good because i needed something tinier these here are from the <coughs> it's part of the tulip ooh, tulip mini album set from scrap diva also it's these so I used those there to make, so all the flowers weren't the same, you know, shape. So I got a couple of tulips there and then the other little flowers, a little carrot cabochon I just hauled. I used um, this ruffle die for my stash. This bloom word is part of the, the tulip mini album set also. So I used that up here and attached it on top of my um, paper ruffle. This is just a sticker from Hobby Lobby. This is a sticker from something else. I can't remember. <coughs> and then just this kind of little applique thing. And then this little strawberry. <coughs> oh, goodness. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, did you guys hear that? That's Skittles. Whenever I cough or sneeze, he um, does the same thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. I went from coughing to sneezing to goodness sorry about that okay so then I have this cute little strawberry it's kind of um, it's kind of like feels like it's got um, you know like how do you call it <laughs> this stuff <laughs> on top of it glossy accents that's what it feels like it has on top it's all shiny and so I just tuck that behind there so I layered it up a couple times so I have um, 110 in between the two and then I have this you know a plain white on the back the blue on the front and then I took this piece this pattern paper here and layered it up on top so I think it turned out really cute <clears throat> so as you can see this can be used for anything you know you don't have to use the bunny parts but this is a great die for for just a circle um, memory decks or just a plain circle and scallop circle that you could use for many different things cards and um, embellishments and all kinds of stuff so anyway i think that turned out pretty cute so that was my next project let me put that all back in here this goes in here And then lastly, what I wanted to share with you <clears throat> is using this die again, the Easter Bunny die. Before the other project, I had, you know, some of the accessories that I used. This one, I actually used the bunny. And look how cute it came out. So this is using that beautiful vellum that I shared on a haul. A ho small Hobby Lobby haul. I had, I think I shared it yesterday. It's this vellum, isn't it beautiful? And I put um, a really pale pink cardstock behind it. So it's just flat. It's not a, you know, a book or a mini album or anything like that. It's just, just the kind of decorative piece. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I just think it turned out so beautiful. I used the bow that came with, um, oh, it's the bow from the 
bunny bows and I just didn't use the bunny ears but the rest of the bow that's what it is and it's the um, larger one and so then I just gathered up some tulle and placed it behind it made some more little flowers and attached them on top I um, punched a hole and attached that tiny little carrot hanging off here I started to put it up here then it comes hanging down and <laughs> I thought that looks like I'm teasing him with that carrot like hanging it in front of his nose so I decided to hang it back here from his ear <laughs> And then this little um, flower here is an edge flower from Scrap Diva. Um, so it's a little bit bigger, you know, than these. So I put, decided rather than a pom-pom like I put on the last bunny, I decided it would look cute with that cute little flower for his tail. So I think he turned out super cute. This I could put on a card or, you know, a basket or a box or whatever. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with it, but I just love, love, love that vellum. Now the vellum, I just, when you attach vellum, for those of you who don't know, it shows through, um, you know, whatever adhesives that you use. So you got to be real careful. So what I did is I just laid it on, on here. And then um, where I'm going to attach things, that's where I, that's where I glue it down. So I just used a little bit of liquid glue and I put a little bit right behind where I was going to glue, glue down the, the bow. And then I put a little bit underneath here where I was going to glue down this um, you know, flower on top of the tail. And then I put just a tiny little bit on the edge of the foot and I think oh, up here on the, on the ears. <coughs> so just a tip there for you on how to um, do, um, you know, how to adhere vellum. You know, if you're new and you don't know. I didn't know when I first started. And, you put a bunch of stuff on, you go, oh, that shows through. You don't realize it, how much it shows through. So you got to be kind of tricky with where you place your um, adhesive. So anyway, I, this is my favorite. I think it turned out so beautiful. And it's really simple. So just wanted to share that with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll make sure that I have Erica's shop linked below along with my discount code. Be sure to use that if you decide to pick up any of these dyes. And then um, I'll also link all these dyes that I used. Okay, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.